What's Mr. Pines and his brother up to? Here's some stan fiction written by Seuss. I haven't heard from the stan bros since they left for one of the poles. North, south, probably no Wi-Fi. Although if I were them, I would probably take like a super sweet vacation after saving the world. But then Ford would show up and be like, no, we have to save the world again some more. Um, and they would go up to Antarctica, and there'd be some penguins, but also like a big old monster who eats time. And he's also come to devour all of our Thanksgiving turkeys. But Stanford would dig into his pocket and pull out the phantom crystal of infinity or something. It's definitely red, that part I'm sure of. He'd throw it and trap the monster, and uh, they'd be like, the day is saved by us, the Pines Men. Oh man, this would make a really cool video game. Watch Mr. Pines and his brother up to Here's some stan fiction written by Seuss. Today's episode, Stan Bros in New York Ghost Detectives. There's a big train station back east with a secret apartment hidden inside. It was built by this old-timey railroad guy in the 1920s. He was eccentric and reclusive and rarely ever seen at the station. Oh wait, I think I saw him. Is that him? Swoosh! Fast forward to present day and this place is mad haunted. Stan Bros to the rescue. But then, maybe the station manager is like a hipster and he wants to turn this place into a cool club with like bands and... But then Mr. Pines would be like, that sounds terrible! And he and Ford would get summer ween masks and scare the pants off of that guy! <laughs> Man, I should be a writer or something. Sure miss those guys. Uh-oh, who is it? Mr. Mystery! With some mysterious facts. Or fiction, are they? You know that creature in the fish tank in the living room? It's called a... Axlatotl? I wonder where it came from. Ford liked to study weird creatures. Maybe he was on a mystery hunt and found the oxalot or whatever in the woods. And he was like, hey little guy, it's dangerous out there. I'm gonna keep you safe from monsters and stuff. Dude, that would make a great attraction for the mystery shack. Is he a salamander? Is he a fish? Actually, hold on, let me check. I like those little tree things on his head. They're from Mexico and... Oh wow, he can regrow body parts. Thumbs up to you, dude. Here's an interesting tidbit. Sour cream isn't that popular in Mexico. Oh man, I think I'm going down the internet rabbit hole. Click, click.